Tom and Glenda, we were able to speak with her through our microwave room. This is where we did that Skype interview. We used some of the monitors here and hooked up to talk to her to see what they're telling people there in Japan what to do if there is a meltdown. The biggest threat to people in Japan right now is exposure to radiation. 27-year-old Ayako Sawada says everyone is staying indoors. I'm trying to be um, to to watch the news carefully and try not to go outside too often. I spoke with Sawada over Skype Saturday night, her Sunday, shortly after another nuclear reactor failed in Japan. 170,000 people were evacuated from the area. They just um, say stay calm and they're working on it. Sawada lives far enough away not to be in any immediate danger, but she's concerned that officials have not shared a plan of what to do if there is a nuclear meltdown. I do wish the officials could um, announce some more about about what to do. Earlier in the evening, I spoke with the consulate of Japan here in Detroit, who says the country has initiated a massive military effort to deal with the aftershocks and rescue missions. We already brought in more than 50,000 self-defense forces people, and in addition to that, uh, we brought in uh, many special police contingents and the uh, firefighters. International rescue teams have already deployed across Japan. That and prayers from all over the nation, especially from her friends here in Michigan, keeps Sawada optimistic. That's been making me feel more um, secure. That, so thank you very much for the, um, all the wishes. And a lot of those well wishes going to people in Midland and Mid Michigan where she did a lot of her studying. Now, Ayako says that, um, you know, even if it rains, they're especially supposed to stay inside. So, with all this breaking news, things will be changing, and we'll make sure to check back in with her to hear what's going on on the ground there. For now, we're live from Channel 7, Julie Bonovich, Channel 7 Action News. Certainly. Thank you, Julie, for the live report.